half seven. It's my buddy who's coming with me today on the old scooter. What do you think of the fashion? Look, the cats, the doors, lovely trailers. I've just been watching back what I filmed this morning and I must have put the next bit. I must have set it somehow to film slow motion. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. for his breakfast before we went and he's back out already. What? You love it, don't you? Do you want another sachet, Doug? Come on. Oh, I've had a shower. I'm back in bed with a cup of coffee and a punnet of strawberries. I'm going to put my makeup on. Meg's off. She was a bit nervous, but still excited. I need to get this done quickly, really, because the postman could turn up at any minute and I'm in no fit state to receive visitors, let alone bend down on a mat and stick stickers on in front of someone. So I'm going to stop chit-chat and put my makeup on. He'd be shocked if I went to the door in my current state. He'd say, who the hell are you? And I'd say, it's me, but without makeup on. James says I have weak coffee. Well, I do, actually. My favourite brand of coffee is Mellow Birds. This isn't Mellow Birds, so This is Kenko Red, which is my favourite. I don't like the blue one, but the red one's not right. Yes, hello, girls. What a disaster. Look at this. My book has just fallen in the mop bucket. <sighs> well, I'm glad it's a nice day. It'll dry out, won't it? I was going too fast and I've got a stupid floaty dress on. I caught the woman. I caught her feeding him. So I, I was sitting in the front room because I'm still waiting for the postman to come. I've had one postman come and drop off the labels. And I said, aren't you going to take the stuff with you? And they, he said, no, there's someone else is going to come and collect it later. Which I thought was ridiculous because he had a big van. Anyway. I was sitting there waiting and I saw a woman come across ooh, with a sachet of food in her hand and I thought, that's it, that's her. So I went out there and I said, stop feeding my cat <laughs> like that. <laughs> Are you standing there, Lizzie? It's all short. I thought I could see her shadow. Um, so she kept saying, I am sorry. I thought he was lonely. I thought you'd gone on holiday and left him. I said, I haven't been on holiday. I have been on holiday, but that's not the point. It was, this feeding has been happening since I've returned. And besides, my mum was coming twice a day. I didn't just go on holiday and leave him. So then I had to show her the sign and she said oh i'm sorry i didn't see that we'll say yes you did because you put food on it last time so i picked him up and i was, um i told her that i've had him from a six week old kitten and then i lied about his age and i told her for some reason he was 18 <laughs> but he's not 18 <laughs> he's an old man but he's not 18 yet she just kept saying i'm sorry i'm sorry oh cool. i said he's got a very delicate stomach and you're making him ill with that food she said i feed him every morning at the gate i said yeah and i come out and i pick that food up and i put it straight in the bin <laughs> oh and the lady from over the road 
she told me that she thought it might be her because she rides about on her bike with a cat in the basket which I've never seen so next time I see that lady I'm gonna say you were right it was her I feel all riled up now what's the word riled mean oh Doug it was her she won't do it again I was a bit cross but I wanted to get my point across I thought it might be her oh, I feel all that I've had a big fight but I haven't it won't look anything like that at all but oh, I think we're gonna have to have a coffee cool, I'm a bit peed off about this um postman what's the time Oh, I've done something to my phone. Where's the picture of Ian gone? And it's not ten past nine. I think my watch is broken. Well, it's not ten past nine. Well, the clock says quarter to two and he still hasn't been to collect my stuff. I feel like I can't get on properly until that, that's been collected. Cool, I can't wait to tell James about this when he comes home. Right, I'll see you later. I'm so shaky after that. I'm gonna have to have a little bit of rum <laughs> to calm my nerves. I don't even drink rum, but I wanted to try it, so James got me this little bottle of it. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Oh, you know when you've had something happened and you feel all, ooh, like that. Oh. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, it's horrible. I'll grab another bit. Oh. I quite like that. I think I could drink it. Have another shot. Don't worry, I'm only having little mouthfuls. You can see how much I've had. Oh, I do feel better now after that. Oh, I didn't like that at all. I just want James to come home so I can tell him. I'm tired. I haven't felt very much... Nah, I haven't, because I've just been doing bitty jobs again in between bag making. And I've just had another day of chasing my tail. I am ridiculously tired. Have I told you that already? I've rubbed half of my eyeliner off. I've got swap arms. Because I've just been rubbing my eyes. I've changed all the sheets today on everybody's beds. Meg had the idea that if that she wanted to come home to clean sheets on her first day of college. So I've done them all a day early. I normally do the sheets on Tuesday, but I've done them today. So I did that as soon as I got back from having a run. This is very boring. I'm just going to give you a list. Then I made some bags and cut out some bits and did some ironing of bits on bags and just stuff like that and then the shopping came and I had the most enthusiastic driver I've ever known he um dropped he parked in the communal drive that we've got I've got two neighbors and we all share a drive and there was no car in there and he was trying to work out which house it was so I I said ooh over here like this and he sort of did this little dance and like okay I'll bring it round and went like that and then he bought it all round and then when he went he said my name is Lewis I've been your driver today you've got no and he didn't call them substitutions he called them something else 
I can't remember what he called them, but it wasn't substitution. You've got none of those. Whatever did he call them? Adjustments. You've got no adjustments. And I hope you have a good day. I thought I will. So I unloaded all that lot. Then it was dinner time. And then the incident happened with the cat. The postman hasn't been. Oh, I'm so cross. It's such a pain. I'll tell you what. From my experience, I don't know what anybody else thinks who have got the sort of business where you have to post stuff. I'd say postage is the most stressful thing. Of course, it's just out of your control, isn't it? I think that man who bought the labels was supposed to take them as well. Because they've never done that before. They've never bought the labels and then just gone off and said, oh, someone's coming later to pick them up. They've never done that. Oh, I'm furious. So I've either got to rebook the delivery for tomorrow, which I can't really do because I'm, I'm going out pencil shopping with Lizzie tomorrow. Pencil and pen shopping. And um, I've just sat there, well, not, I haven't sat there, but I've been waiting all day. And I think when you're waiting for something, maybe that's my problem. Maybe that has been my problem today. I felt I can't really get into anything because I've had one ear open all day. And then when James come home, I said, James, I've just got to go outside for a little while. So he sat there because he'd been outside all day. So he was quite pleased to sit down and wait. But they didn't turn up. So I think, I don't know. I'll probably post all the UK ones in the postal post box, the parcel post box. And then the international ones, just so I know they've gone, I'll probably take them up to the, because you can't put an international post into a parcel post box. I might walk those ones up to the post office, but then I'm going to have to pay extra. Because you have to pay now for the post office to, pro to process posts that's already been paid for. Oh, it's so boring, but it's annoying. And I'm still het up about that cat thing about Doug I'll get it from a dad I always like I, I'm not a confrontational person at all but I will always say if I think something's wrong <laughs> yeah I'm not looking forward to bumping into her again <laughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing the lady over the other lady over the road who told me that she was her number one suspect I finished a pair of socks for James tomorrow, so I'll give them to him. I finished them last night, so I'll give them to them to him tomorrow, because you haven't seen him very much yet, have you? And then he can pick his next ball of wool that I make his socks from. I've got an itchy nose as well. Well, that will do. I just feel like I can't get on top of anything at the minute. In the house, I mean. Not not work-wise. Maybe that's why I'm not getting on top of the house. Because <laughs> I'm quite busy. I don't know. Oh well. It don't matter. It'll be alright. Well, I'm going to go because I'm going to have some, some food now. I'm going to have exactly the same thing that I had for dinner because I liked it, which was salmon and broccoli quiche, green stuff out of a bag, a giant carrot, a little bit of couscous, and of course some coleslaw because that is my favourite thing at the minute. You know, I had that for, for dinner. You see, when James not here is not here because he's at the gym tonight. I always feel quite free with my 
food choices and he's not hilly anything but I don't know why I feel like I can that's so silly because he wouldn't care what I had or what he had so I'm just being silly Meg had a good day at college she loved it but she's doing homework so let's see how we get on tomorrow Johnny's at work I've got to go to town with Lizzie we're going to have some dinner out which will be nice and Meg's got her second day of college and I'm getting up early again to go for a run right sorry I've bored you but it's just been one of those days again I think I'm going to dye my hair I'm sick of it I don't know I've got a little bit of this blonde coming through can you see it Right, I'll see you in the morning everybody.